All right. So I get that the whole headlines have just been dumb shit Christian said and or did with regards to the pandemic. But I've got to tell us out my nominations for the two dumbest comments I saw. The first one came from Lori Alexander. And you have to forgive me because this is a weekly show, so I don't get a chance to chime in on some of this shit right away. She said this in the bygone era of Friday, back when coronavirus was still just a Democratic hoax engineered to make Trump look bad. So, of course, his evangelical supporters were still in downplay mode, which is probably why she was so quick to point out how much less dangerous COVID-19 is than, say, trans people. So after assuring people that the virus is nowhere near as bad as bubonic plague or polio and therefore couldn't possibly be dangerous, she adds that, quote, many of the things going on in our culture are much more destructive to our culture than this virus or the stock market crashing, end quote. And you can bet your ass that she had a list of examples that included abortion, trans kids and pornography. And look, when it comes to things that are dangerous to Lori Alexander's culture, I'm all for them. That being said, I still think she's wrong. It's hard to imagine something more damaging to Lori Alexander's culture than a disease that disproportionately kills off the elderly and people too dumb to wash their hands. But to be fair, that was only the second dumbest non-presidential comment I saw about the outbreak since the last episode. For the gold medal, we'll have to shift gears and look to Lori Alexander later. Fast forward to Tuesday. It's four days later. Trump knew it was going to be a pandemic. He never called it a hoax. And we've always been at war with Oceana. And now Lori's job isn't to downplay the virus so much as to find a silver lining. And what silver lining did she find? Why, the way it's domesticating all those uppity feminists. Quote, the virus is clearly showing the great value there is to having mothers at home with their children. They can protect them from the virus and homeschool them. It's just the way God intended it to be. Maybe crisis always shows that God's ways are far superior to man's. End quote. And look, normally I'd be inclined to disagree with her across the board. But to be fair, I'd have to qualify it. Like if the man whose response we're talking about is Donald Trump, she's right. God never lied about how serious it was or used it to incite racism against Chinese people. All the non-existent people, whether dead or fictional, had better responses than he did. But even if she's partially sort of right accidentally, there's something about saying that 9,000 deaths and counting is worth it if it teaches working moms to barefoot it up in the kitchen. That really irks me regardless. Anyway, with hopes that some non-virus stuff will sneak its way into the news cycle before we talk again, I'll hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.